Needless to say, I'm excited. Welcome to the back of my new to me 1979 GMC G1500. <laughs> I'm really excited about this thing, guys. As you can see, some work's already been done to it. All of this is coming out eventually. But the purpose of this video is to show you when you buy a new project card, the two most essential things you have to do right out the gate. And that's one, make the list, and two, make it yours. All right, let's do it. All right, the reason the list is the first thing you need to do when you buy a project car is because things like this. So this headlight doesn't sit correctly. I threw this uh, cardboard wedge underneath it, but also just to get to know your car better, right? If you're assessing your car, if you're going through the needs, then you make your list and now you've also kind of went through and touched a bunch of stuff in the vehicle. It gives you a really good sense of where you're at. Now a good list should and could include Simple things like that light back there, or big things like this bad starter motor. But either way, make sure you're extensive. Any good project car should be a mixture of form and function, and your list is no different. So obviously the function of your list is to catalog the things that are wrong with the vehicle, keep track of them. Now the form of your list is also very important at least if you want to have a little bit of fun. So as taught to me by the patron saint of Project Cars, David Freiberger, you want your list to be written on something random. Um, so for example, if you have a garage, you're going to be parking your project in car, motorcycle, whatever it is, you can make your list on the wall of your garage and then just paint over it and make another list for the next project. On the last project, big project that I had, the rebuild I did on my motorcycle, I just used a bit of box that came with a part I ordered for the motorcycle. Now, this van is pretty cool because I can work on the van from the inside, which is great because winter's coming in Utah. So I wanna make sure I have the list with me at all times. I like my list to kind of be big, be really present where I'm working on the vehicle. I'll just be working on it in the driveway since I don't have a garage to put it in. So I'm gonna put my list right here on the side of the van with some Sharpie. That way, every time I go to the parts house, I'll have it right with me. I'll be able to reference it. I'll be able to make note right while I'm working on the van. And you know, it kind of steps us right into that number two of make it your own. So something you should know about me is that I love stickers and patches. I have a whole like tub full of them um, and I use them on everything. I love putting them on all sorts of stuff. Now, I know that this car is going to get painted eventually, so I don't want to put too many stickers on it just yet because I'm not one of those people that doesn't use their stickers, but I am one of those people that doesn't like to waste their stickers. So I've picked four stickers for this one. I've got a uh, Pete's Pirate Life flag from my good buddy, Peter McKinnon. I've got... Um, a Donut Media buffed horse sticker, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I've got a uh, support your local wizard. It's gonna go on the bumper uh, because of course it has to. And then finally, every single car that I own, I always give myself a little rat fink. I love uh, Big Daddy Ed Roth. I love his creations. Um, I go down to the rat fink reunion every year. And so we'll definitely get a little rat fink on there too.
Stickers are a great way to make it yours. I've also got some little things that I'm gonna do to the inside, kind of get some stuff going that'll just make it feel like my project, my thing. However, I pulled a bunch of you guys on Instagram because I wanna put a mural on the side of this thing and when I paint it, like officially paint it, I'm gonna put a Frank Frazetta mural on the side 100% for sure. But right now I just feel like, why not? Why not have some fun with it? So I had five different options up on the Instagram poll and you guys went with a image from the Weatherman comic book. Really fun comic book, you should check it out. It's just a image on the back of the comic book for like a noodle place that they have in that world. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So let's get craft time going and get this thing on the side of the van. So it's all set up and ready. I'm pretty dang stoked, mainly because I get to use, you know, a projector from grade school, which is awesome. Do they even still have those anymore? I don't think, they, uh, they probably don't. It's probably like tablets or something. Anyways, um, I'm pretty excited for the placement. I tried kind of down the center of the thing and it, it didn't look as good. So this back corner here, I don't know how well you guys can see, but this back corner here really looks like just primo. I'm not sure how much of this I'm gonna be able to actually get because the light is fading. This camera does not do well in low light and I need low light <laughs> to be able to execute this. So I'm gonna do my best to film this thing for you guys, but I will for sure show you the final product. I'm really excited. If you can't tell from the fact that the sun's gone, it's been a little while since I've started and it's gotten a little cold, but that's all right. We're still out here getting this thing done. Um, however, my projection is running its course. So um, that's why I've got this taped up here and right, all this detail in here is pretty murky, pretty muddy. The face is pretty murky, pretty muddy. So we're gonna have to go freehand. I am not an artist by any measure, so let's see what happens. I think that turned out pretty good. <laughs> now the hair and the circles are the two things that I've been avoiding on purpose because uh, they're the hardest things. So I think that's just where we're at is hair, circles, and then I'll go through and add a little bit of texture, a little bit of warmth to it. But I think overall, this is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm descending into madness trying to get this noodle hair right. So. I've moved this closer and I'm just gonna try to copy it strand for strand because I've tried and tried and tried and I just keep messing up. So uh, here's to just trying to straight copy it because I am uh, apparently not a noodle hair artist. I'm sorry to let you guys down. I'm just, I'm not able, I'm just not, not that guy. I tried to copy this, I couldn't, so I freehanded it. I think I did okay for somebody who's not an artist. You'll see, you'll notice there's a couple splotches where my hand went up against and I'll, uh, I'll clean those up, but noodle hair. I, I think I did it. <laughs> now I just gotta figure out these circles.
All right, now it's just the circle. The circle looks okay here. I try to do some measuring and stuff and I can't get like a real circle. I don't know if it's because the, the panel's a little bent or not. So I'm gonna use what I have and I'm gonna just try to eyeball the best looking circle that I can get. And then I've got an internal circle as well. And then I just gotta throw a little bit of texture on this thing and we're there. I'm definitely stoked. It's been almost five hours since I started this and it's about 20 degrees colder than when I started this. So it's gonna be good when it's done. You know, that outside might not be perfect, but for freehand, I feel like it's, it's all right. I'm gonna fill her in and then go to that second one there. finished up pretty dang good considering a bunch of it was by hand and considering that I've never done a van mural or any mural for for that fact so I think for a first it turned out pretty good thanks for your help on Instagram choosing which image to put up on the van really excited for more stuff in the future gonna do a full build out on the inside get her all running smooth should be great and uh, thanks for watching really appreciate it if you enjoyed this consider hitting subscribe like button share it around let's grow the channel and uh, yeah catch you on the next one